everybody. So welcome to Dogman Homestead. We are back to the loft and stairway build. Uh, today, I'm going to work on building some handrails. Excuse me, some guardrails. There are a difference. Guardrail is when there is no wall on one side. And a handrail is if you had a wall, a solid wall that you would attach a rail to. So there is a difference. We are going to build one, possibly two guardrails. Because as you can see, they're, you know, both sides are open. Uh, so I'll probably put them on both sides. Never built one. I've done a lot of research on them. And we will, we'll see how to do it. And I'm going to build these using that lumber that I ran through the table saw the other day that I got from Jeff's house. Uh, I should be able to make some good looking rails out of those beams. Uh, but I ain't gonna know till I get out there and try guys. So let's get busy. Yeah, we're gonna go back. For those of you that may not have seen, I'm gonna be using this stuff right here. Looks terrible, doesn't it? Just watch, you know, I'm gonna take a little bit of work to get these nails and stuff out of it. But I'm gonna try to make some really nice cedar handrails out of it. And it's a beautiful day. Haven't seen any wind yet. But we'll see. What are you two doing down there? Huh? Look at them goofballs. Look at them goofballs. Alright guys. Hopefully this video comes. This is my first selfie stick outside adventure. I got a microphone. I got the works. Hopefully it works. Okay, I spent about 15 minutes getting all the nails and screws out of it, and this is what we have. This is what we are starting with on the first handrail, and I'm going to need about six foot of that. I'm guessing I'm going to need it around three inches around. I want it flat on the bottom. So I'm going to have to, I don't have a saw that will cut all the way through that, so I'll have to run it through the table saw, flip it around, run it the other way. I've done it before, so... Let's get to work.
All right, I've ran this through the saw on all four sides. Excuse me. Blade only goes up probably three and a half inches. This is four inches, but look how beautiful this old cedar post is. And the rest of the work is going to be by hand. Now what I need to do, obviously I don't need something that big. So I'm going to cut it down probably an inch inch or so off of there and i'll work it down from there there's going to be some fancy cutting and sanding on this thing uh as you see it's going to be worth it get it real smooth put some linseed oil on there it's going to look sharp and this folks is how cedar holds up over the years this this thing was probably built on that porch 40 years ago that's how old his house is and look what we have now you can't buy that in a store all right, I, I got this cut down to three inches in diameter. Now we're going to start to shape it. Isn't that nice? And yep, it's going to require a lot of sanding. And you're asking, why don't you use this tool or that tool? Well, I'm using what I got. <laughs> Sometimes you, you don't have all the fancy tools in life. And that's what I got. And a few hand saws and, you know, I'm going to make it work. So that's why that's a good example that you can still get things done without all the fancy stuff okay you can see here I've got it down to the size I want it uh, my saw broke I can't move the blade at an angle so I had to kind of freehand it just to start to begin to get the shape you know of a handrail got to kind of tilt it and go through the saw so now what I got to do is just hand saw it from here until I get the shape I need. It's going to be very time consuming, but we're going. To, I want it to be nice, so let's see what we end up with. Quite a bit of time kind of freehanding this through the saw getting to the shape I want and I've got it sanded let's wipe her down with some water look how beautiful that is this will also reveal any places you need to sand like right there other than that it's looking pretty good and this rail is probably going to take all day to make I'm going to make this look good this is from an old scrap post come off somebody's porch bobblehead homestead there what do you think of that that's some pretty stuff man it doesn't even have linseed oil or nothing on it yet yep i want to take my time this is going to be the first thing they see when they, somebody walks in my cabin you know, if they come to cart my body out, I at least want them to say, well, he had nice rails. You know, you got to think about stuff like that. Okay, I have made a mock-up of the railing so I can determine uh, where I'm going to put the bottom. Uh, you'll see what I'm going to do. But there's also going to be something along the bottom. It's going to be just above this uh, on the railing. 
Now, house codes, this is how you find out if you made your stairs right. Most codes want you to have your railing 42 inches high in the cities. It used to be 36. And then all of a sudden they changed it to 42 from what I've uh, researched. So, being that they do that in the city, guess what mine's going to be? 36, like it used to be when they built things right. So this represents from the bottom here, and you always start at the, the bottom tread, put it against the riser, measure up 36 inches. This measures 36 inches. You want to make that consistent all the way up, and I also have from the top 36 inches to the bottom of that riser. So, or top of that riser rather. Now I can get measurements on how long the board down here is going to be uh, and figure out what I'm going to do. And I have walked up it and it's about right. It's comfortable. I can't imagine it being any higher. So 36 it is. And uh, now this project's going to take a few days and I really want to make sure that it's because like, you know, like I said before, the railings in a house on any stairwell is always a focus. Your eyes go right to it. And it's the first thing. Here's my front door right here. So anybody that comes over, which is very few people, first thing they're going to see is the railing. So it, to me, needs to look nice. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to go ahead and build it, the permanent railing. But I'm going to have it where... I can detach it when I need to pretty easily because these aren't the permanent stairs. Uh, and for now, that they are going to be probably for the next year or two. Who knows? I may change them next week. Put in the finished product next week, but I doubt it. So anyway, I'm going to get busy on... I'm going to build the whole thing out outside and bring it in. And I'm going to make sure I get my angles right. So hopefully I can get that done. I doubt I'm going to get that done today, but we'll see how far we get. So this isn't a project that's going to happen in a few hours because it's got to look good. And if you stand from this angle, you can see that is going perfectly with the bottom of the riser, the same angle. And so I know that I cut the <laughs> risers right. That's a miracle. But we did, so. All right, guys, I'll be back. What I want to do, uh, I'm going to have to probably hold up on this project for a while. I'll go ahead and make the other cedar rail for the other side. But what I want to do, what do I do with it? I want, here it is. I want to put rebar like I did on the rails up there, all the way up. I mean, I don't want to put any more cedar. I could do that, but it, there's already too much cedar. This would go with the flow, you know. I got these every, the same distance as I got them all the way up like this. But, I want to get a couple of 2 by 8s I think that's a 2 by 10 2 by 8 whatever. Uh, this is just a piece of scrap. I want to mount these about like this. Let me see. So it would be like that. Okay. I would kind of enclose this. And a lot of steps are made this way. Attach this to the stair stairs. That way I can drill into that. I can already have these set. I'll make a jig to do the bottom of the cedar rail. And then I'll bring that rail in. Have these already set in place and just throw them in, uh, you know, on top of that and pound them in a little bit. And it's worth waiting a few days on. Uh, I called down there, they are out of these. And I'm, it's going to be Thursday before they're in. And I, want, I don't want to rip any, it's just too expensive to rip any more down. They're out of pretty much everything. So we're going to wait and I'll go ahead and make that one probably in the next few days. Uh, the other rail, the cedar railing that I got, this is just a mock-up. Uh, it come out real nice. So that's what we're going to do, folks. And tomorrow we'll just move to a different project somewhere working on the loft. And I'll just go ahead and secure this and use it as a temporary railing for now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. It may not have been 
you know, the, the finished end we wanted, but it rolls that way, and I want things right, so happy trails.